All right, people, welcome back to another video. All right, guys, so I got a slew of information to give you guys. As you guys may know, Legion Space version 1.0.2.7 came out a couple days ago. A version of it was leaked, version 2.6, but this is the official version from Lenovo, right? But before I get into all the features that they put out for Legion Space, let me just show you guys some quick tips and tricks that you may know about or you may not know about. So let me get into it real quick. And these tips are kind of essential, like they are very essential, guys. Let me get into it, show you what's going on. First thing I want to show you guys is how to calibrate your controllers. Sometimes you may have an issues with them. There's a way you could calibrate it without going into the system itself. You would hold down the trigger but plus the joystick and each side, whatever you which one you want to try to calibrate. So hold down the trigger and the joystick. Once you hold it out, you're going to see the light start flickering a little bit, spinning around. So now you just got to rotate it three times. Then you hit B to calibrate, and that's how you calibrate it. Do the same with the left one if you have an issue with that as well. And then that's how you calibrate, and that should fix any issues that you have. Next thing I want to show you guys is if you have any other issue with the controller and you want to reset it, you just got to disconnect it. When you disconnect it, there's a hole right here. You just got to stick a pin inside of here, hold it on for a few seconds, and then that's how you reset it. And the same goes for the for the left Joy-Con as well. All right, guys, so the next thing I want to show you guys is how to turn off a controller if you got disconnected and you don't want the battery to die. What I forgot to mention is most of these features, they've been out before the Legion Space 2.7 came out. So you could do this without that update. But well, I'm just showing you guys how to do this stuff just in case. So if you want to turn off the controller, just gonna hold the Legion Space button for a couple of seconds. And then it will turn off. See, that's how you turn it off and you can save power in the battery. So some other quick tips. If you wanna bring up the keyboard real quick, press the space button, B brings up the keyboard. If you wanna take a screenshot, press the Legion Space button again, press X and it brings up the screenshot where you can draw and take a screenshot. If you wanna change your TDP, like a custom TDP by the wattage. Just gotta hold the menu button up on the D-pad and it change the wattage. You go up, if you go down, it brings it down to 29 C. So if you're on custom and you wanna bring your wattage down or wattage up, then you just press this up or down and you can bring your wattage down during the game. So you don't have to bring up the quick menu itself and do it. If you wanna change the vibration intensity off rip without opening up your quick menu, or going to the settings, you click the Legion Space button again, and then you click up on the D-pad, and then you will feel it vibrate up or down, and you can change the intensity. I don't know if you hear it, but it's changing the vibration intensity on the controllers. If you, so now, if you wanna see like a guide to bring up all the buttons to see their functionality, you would, you would, hold, you would hold the Space button and left bumper. And it'll bring up a guide on your screen and it shows you all the functionality of all the buttons what you can do with them and stuff like that next if you want to bring up the task manager or shut off your system without going through a few steps legion button press a brings up the screen right here and then this is where you could lock switch user sign out and bring up task manager off rip all right so the next thing i want to show you guys how to change this your charging speed whenever you're playing games so you go in here, bio setup, more settings, go to configuration. Once you get here, you scroll down. Then you'll see charging speed selection under high load. You could change it from slow, medium, or fast. So when you're playing your games, this will depend on how fast your device will charge. Right now, off the box, out the box, it will be in slow. So if you want to ramp it up a little bit, you can put it on medium, up to you. That's just a tip that I want to show you guys. And then when you're done, you just hit save. You click F10 or just hit it right here to save. All right, so now let's get into the Legion Space update, show you what's new. I'll do further testing and then I'll put out some video and what I'm about to show you. So if you go to settings, you go to performance, you will see that they have fan curves now. So now you can mess with your fan curves. Each TDP, each TDP have its own fan curve, as you can see right here. Go to performance, balance. So your fan, your fan noise should be that loud now whenever you're playing on quiet mode. 
if you go to custom this is where you can customize your own fan curve for whatever wattage you're on if you scroll down a little bit you will see the fps limiter you just gotta turn it on and then you can limit your fps to whatever you want so that it can match your screen and the game itself so that you don't have a much screen tearing and all of the bad stuff that you don't want when you're playing a game so this right here was a, is a well needed feature for the system that everyone been waiting on so once i do some tests on it guys i'll let you know like how it's going but if you've been playing and using it let me know how is it for you in the comment section down below guys next if you go to controller the controller hibernation you could change the time so basically your controller will go into hibernation whenever whatever time you set it for so if it's five minutes it will go in hibernation basically to help you save power so you could do that as well set it to whatever time so that it could your battery last longer in your controller if you go to customize now you could turn off the lights on your power button so it's not bothering you when you're sleeping and one more big feature everyone been asking for guys is update how to update your drivers directly in space instead of doing it manually on the lenovo website once you scroll down you'll see drivers you hit update it will search for any available driver and then if there's a driver you do it directly in here you don't have to go anywhere else to update your device now and that's nice next thing is if you open your quick menu you see all the features that i showed you guys in here you see your fan curves you see your fps limiter if you go to controller then you could see the control hibernation option where you could turn it off and on that's basically i think i'm not sure if i'm missing anything on this update but that should be it guys but let me know if you like the update so far how it's been going for you if you're enjoying it and drop a comment down below guys let me know what you think hit that like button if you like what i'm posting guys and stay tuned for more videos guys i'm always here trying to help you guys get the best experience using this device right so hit that like button subscribe to the channel for awesome content guys i remember to always say health is wealth peace and love i'm out guys